Hello folks, this is Johnny again and today let's try to make a kind of pop punkish Blink-182 uh, rhythm guitar tone. Now my research I found out back in the day they also used the dual rectifier. Who would have guessed? <laughs> but I'm thinking I, I pretty much used the dual rectifier so much at this point in TH3, I kind of want to try something different. And I already know I want to make a Devon Townsend tone as well, and that one will feature the dual rectifier as well. But today I just... Uh, we gotta change things. Change! So let's go for the more recent tone Blink 182 has, and that is less high gain, it's much more crunchy, rockish, and interestingly enough, they don't use the dual rectifier anymore. For the dirty tone, Tom rather goes for the Vox AC30. So let's use this one also in here, and since this is a combo amp, let's also go with the original cabinet. Um, let's go with the FAT87 mic. The 57 is a little bit too bright for this tone and it sounds a little bit papery and nasty up there. So let's get the 87. It sounds a bit smoother. Now, okay, let's um, start off with some settings. Yeah, yeah. In general, for a clean amp or for a clean tone or some crunchy tones, uh, this amp is really, really good. When we lower the volume a little bit, we get a very nice, sparkly, clean tone. Now imagine this with the bridge plus neck pickup configuration. This right here is just a bridge. And then a lot of reverb and some cool... Uh, melody lines and whatnot. Ah, this is very, very good. Um, but just a side note. Let's let's go on with what we want to do here. So uh, by itself, this amp doesn't really distort all that much. So let's go to the distortion uh, thing here and let's go with the Proco Rat. What I notice in their tone is there is this kind of crunchy clarity to to it that I find I can pretty much get with this stomp box. Um, others kind of make it too smooth and too distorted and it sounds a little bit flat. But to get it a bit um, clearer in the top range and a bit more crunchy, I think this one uh, works quite a bit better. So let's boost the level and let's take down the drive to about three. That, that will give us plenty of distortion. And then let's boost the tone a little bit to about 7. Uh, we don't need to boost it too much because the amp by itself is already quite bright. So let's check this out now. Okay, so we are kind of getting in the in the right direction. Uh, needs definitely some EQ, so let's get the seven band in there again and the param uh, parametric EQ. I almost uh, pronounced it the same way I did in my last video. <laughs> um, ma, 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 ma. Yeah, uh, there's a bit too much mid range, so we gotta scoop it out, scoop it out, something like this. Okay, let's put that in the mix. By itself, I would kind of say, okay, this is fine now. Um, but you never know how it will actually work in the mix. So 
so yeah still too much in that lower mid range so let's get this down quite noticeably and then ah, we could make it a bit richer down there and let's boost the upper mid somewhat so it kind of get its place in the mix And then, of course, we hear a little bit of harshness getting in there. So let's um, find that spike and take it out. Okay, I, I think um, we kind of can get into the direction, to the ballpark with this tone. We could do a little bit more post EQ. I still hear a little bit of boxy mid range and it could still be a little bit richer on the lower range, but that's just a couple of quick EQ fixes. And well, I think by now you kind of know the drill. <clears throat> so forgive me if I'm being a little bit lazy and not really getting all that much into depth with this one. Now, and if we wanted to switch back to the clean tone, let's just take out the Proco Red. <laughs> this is actually a pretty, pretty nifty setup, if you ask me. All right, and that's it for this video. It's a quick one. Um, I thought that this was actually kind of a fun request, an unexpected request, really, to, to make the Blink-182 tone, but well, here it is. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you got something out of it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I shall see you next time.